Hey everyone, this is Jay. So today we'll be talking about the Thirty Years' War and some of the interpretations thereof. So the big guys I'm going to talk about, uh, the one of the guys who holds like the biggest treatment of the Thirty Years' War is a guy named Peter Wilson. And he actually writes a book that's 1,078 pages and it really covers from the origins of the Thirty Years' War all the way up until the end of the Treaty of Westphalia. And anyway, so this that he's going to be dealing with is actually an article that precedes this book. And his point he's going to make is that the war was really the first war of modernity where it wasn't related to being a, it wasn't a religious conflict. It was a fight over high politics. It, who was going to be in control? Was it going to be Richelieu and the French? Was it going to be Maximilian and the Habsburgs? Or was it going to be uh, Charles V and the Spanish? And so Wilson is, is looking at these things and saying that yes, there was religion there. However, it wasn't as significant as these, again, these power politics. Well, there is a guy named Thistle, and Thistle is going to be reviewing Peter Wilson's book, and he's going to disagree strongly with, with Wilson because he's going to say it doesn't really make sense for Wilson to make the argument that it's not a religious conflict because even if it were true that the, the people that are in charge were not necessarily fighting a religious conflict, that the soldiers themselves and these the common people were deeply religious and therefore it is a religious conflict and they are going to commit atrocities and definitely uh, lots of carnage and chaos because of this. This war is going to be absolutely devastating to all of Europe. 20% of the Europeans will die in the war and the war is going to really crush the Germans. Now the last thing I'm going to talk about is a guy named Kevin Kramer. And Kevin Kramer is writing a book on the Thirty Years' War, but his is actually a historiographical interpretation of the way the Germans in the 19th century perceived the Thirty Years' War. Now, one of the big books is by Frederick Schiller, and he was essentially Germany's Shakespeare. He was the most popular and poet slash author and did lots of things, and, and obviously gave this, this historical work. And so Kramer is going to talk about this, this the Thirty Years' War. It was a devastating event for Germany and how this was their unifying factor. It wasn't based off of some sort of national win, national victory. Their unification was, was based off of national destruction. And really, we're going to see this mindset of the Germans who have really been devastated in terms of their thoughts even even past world war ii these the, the german people themselves are going to say the worst thing in the history of germany was not the holocaust was not world war one was not world war ii the worst thing was actually the 30 years war and this is really kind of their key defining feature and this is because of what was written in the, the 1800s when it became such a popularized idea that he's talking about when they're doing tourist attractions or whatever the way that people would go to see World War II battlefields, they're really going to go see the carnage that was inflicted by the Swedes or by the French on the land. And so all these guys are really talking about how the Thirty Years' War is tied together and also you know, the different interpretations of what the war is. Wilson... Uh, it's just a power politics issue, Thistle, it's a religious issue, and then Kramer is just going to talk about the perception that Germany has in the war based off of the things that were written in the, in the 1800s. Thanks for watching. Bye.